Well, hello and welcome. Thank you for 100 subs. Um, this is going to be my video on the vehicle I learned to drift with in this game. And that is the Honda NSX slash the Ninja SX. Um, this vehicle has been changed a few times by the devs. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, I learned to drift this car before Cockpit View came in. Um, I learned to drift with the Hood View. And the vehicle I learned how to skid with properly, with no steering assist, was the R33, if I remember right. But, Today we're looking at the Ninja SX, and we're going to be revisiting it, as for it's done a lot of good for me, and yes, you don't really see me make videos on this car, but this has been one of the more uh, meaningful vehicles that I've had in this game. Why is, when you look at the specs, it might not seem crazy, considering I'm on drift. 380 horsepower. It might not seem like a lot, but it gets the job done, especially with the special power band it's got. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like this car because it's surprising, surprisingly grippy for being on sport tires and being the drift spec, um, but yet it can drift very, very well. So. It can go around the track and drift. And we're going to start by going to um, Springstone, I th think. Just for a little bit. Different track. So, like I said, the drift spec is the one and only vehicle to have. So, here we go, we start at 30 seconds.
so that was a little bit of drifting in this vehicle. Not bad. It's got a very nice power band for drifting. And racing is just as great, even though it might not seem like it. We're going to start at 310. And no, I'm not speaking much because I am just here enjoying this vehicle and remembering all the good times that I've had with it. Grips very well out of the corner. It turns in very well. Oh boy. That is a lot of rest in me there. Oh boy. That was a lot of revs. We're going to go to our other track, as you saw, it did very well there. And we're going to go test it out to see how it does at the other place. Very direct steering, turns in very well. We're going to do two laps of the regular layout, and then we're going to go to the extended layout. I'm not going to be timed, this is just for enjoyment. Oh, that was pretty poor, my bad. Whoops. I don't think the first gear is going to be better for doing these corners. I have messages on my phone right now, I can't really be looking. Doesn't have the best power band and gear ratios for this course. If you just rose some tires, it'll be fine. It's very nice around here, actually. When you get the gearing right. Now we're going to go for the extended layout. This is everything that I like out of a vehicle. The ability to get it sideways, but the ability to be very grippy and very controllable when you need it to be. Very nice around that long circuit. Much better, in my opinion. One more lap. Oh boy, I turned in too early. But it's an NSX, and it's got a good turn in. Oops. Oh, and then I forget to say, this thing does really good donuts. 
Makes nice rev limiter noises. I think that's pretty good. The engine handles over revving very well. The rev's pretty high too. It's a very nice vehicle. Now we're gonna go and Let's see, how much time do we have left? Not much. Oh crap, uh, resume. Garage. My bad. So, we're gonna take it for one quick lap. Around... Where to? San Plazetta, or however you say it. This is the first track that was in the game, and this had many improvements since the game first came out. And this game, yes, the new Accelerator Racing update is very nice, but this game will still remain my sole game, as I guess I'll say. This game is where I started. That's where I started with simulation type stuff. And I have not driven this track in a really, really long time, at least a year would be my guess. Sorry, I'm trying to do something in the background. Alright. All solved. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. It has certainly been a good one so far. There's much more to come. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and do whatever you want. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. And thank you everyone for all your support. Couldn't even hit it out. Well, whatever, I don't care. Oh man. <laughs>